the uh, main event. We have the main event. Now, before we talk about uh, the main event, we will look at Phil Marks, book Marks, and uh, Cultaholic Wrestling posted a quote from Ethan Page via uh, Talk and Shop Wrestling uh, podcast, which I think is like the Gallows and Anderson's podcast. Uh, okay. If I'm not mistaken. So Ethan Page says that AEW was so chaotic and unorganized compared to WWE NXT, which he calls an incredible machine. And I tweeted you awful. I told you, bud. I told you this guy was a guy. I, I told you, man, he never got a real chance in AWP. Oh, they pushed him with the ATT. They pushed him with Dan Lambert and the American top team. Yeah, that cringe. I never MMA. said any of that, by the way. No, no, that, I know you didn't. But just okay. other people like, <laughs> yo, dude, you mean that cringe MMA that even Dan Lambert? trashed after he left aew right. like after he was affiliated he went out he publicly said it like what they were doing was stupid and they he felt they could have did more da 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 oh, wow. and like that well, he was cool. saying yeah he said that he was saying in his promos was like real like pretty much off like was his right. real feelings about the company type so <laughs> it's just it's so goobery and then here's ethan page just i i told you bro this guy could be a real a real player man um mm -hmm. and he was yeah so here we go here's more proof of it but he goes on to say i went from somewhere that was so chaotic and unorganized so there's just further proof like is he lying or oh, he's sucking wwe's dick man everyone says this about them right like it's obviously the truth and so ethan page goes on to say to a place that i mean i'm still learning because i'm still so new here but this is a machine and it's incredible it feels good to not feel like i have to do everything myself to have people that want to see me succeed is kind of mind-blowing right there to have people that want to see me succeed and that are actively like okay they didn't just sign ethan page to keep him from the from the wubs bro like so many people think dude they signed him like wwe's got a bloated roster but they're not going to over bloat it to the point where it's like aew man and they signed him because there's people actively working on how are we gonna highlight this guy's positives and turn him into a star and help him be this head heel that right. who, he's actually a vet though so his experience we're going to teach him our way and maybe he could be a main roster mid card lower card player one day maybe he could exceed that who knows he's already the nxt champion who saw that coming but right. they have people going okay we're going to get this guy over that's why we signed him we're not just going to waste money market him take pictures of him do you know get all this film all this shit, and waste our yeah. time and money and especially not now this isn't vince's wwe they're not just like you know making whole storylines that'll just evaporate in thin air so yeah, man, they brought him in. Um, he said it was chaotic. Now he has people behind him who are wanting him to succeed. Nah, bro, you're here for a reason, right? He that walks scene, into the, he walks into the building. Sorry to cut you off. He looked like a okay. million bucks. What were you gonna say? That's why um, creative freedom, creative control, is a double edged sword. While you do have the creative freedom, no one's going to push you in the success route that you want to be in like you're not going to get that out. i think that's a I cop out that. that's a cop out by like bookers and and uh and like cr creative like tony khan that's a cop out like you're not yeah. creative enough to come up for, for these exactly people, so. yeah because so, you don't yeah. know who they are and yeah. they themselves don't know who they are and there's no workshopping to find out who the hell they are and that what he said may be one of the more prophetic quotes that i have for the book Excellent. <laughs> I like that. Um, and so uh, I'm excited to read this book one day, dude. Um, so <laughs> NXT Championship, though, the four-way. Ethan Page comes in the building, looks like a million bucks. Sean Spears getting big pops. Page, they kind of wanted to cheer for him, but he came out and was like... Uh, <laughs> on his jacket it said like american resident or something yeah but, me and my wife looked at that we were like resident of the usa yeah <laughs> he's just well it's um, heat you know he's just a he's just a dick like you can't cheer this guy even in his hometown you have trick who just my god the place went insane for him man he is just such a and this is why yeah, this man. is awesome what they did you have javon evans whose music i'm bouncy or whatever that's mm -hmm. stupid but his yeah, he's yeah. A, just a brilliant young star waiting to have like this is what i mean if you have one javon evans i'll take one javon evans over and this is no disrespect but name me 10 guys who can do flips in AEW on any show rampage pick one and i'll take one javon evans over 10 of any of those guys you right. know what i mean that's all i'm fucking and, saying and i think you and i both know the reason that can sell his 
ass off. Sell, bro. It's all about selling. And he, and he says, does dude, some real crazy, like, goofy moves that make you laugh, but they are yet still effective. I think he did like a he did like a plank dive onto somebody, and it just looks so goofy, but it, it worked. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's just him, like, with his little style and everything on it. I, I love it. And, uh, and yeah, man, he selling is just the number one thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And he gets it. And he has a quote saying that um, he loves He's like, I love going directly to Matt Bloom, and he names someone else. He's like, because they just tell you right how it is. He's like, yeah. I don't want no, I want real criticism. Like, how can I get better? And I'm like, word, dude. You hear stories about Jack Perry, and it's like, no, nah, I, I don't need to listen to Arn Anderson. Yeah, I don't need to listen to fuck. It's like, come on, man. You guys are goofs. And so, anyways, so Trick I, Williams I, does look like a star, by the he's way. He's just I a mean, million dollars, bro. And that guy on the main incredible. roster. That's, I mean, him versus Braun Breaker. That's like a WrestleMania main event, and five ten years or whatever you know i I truly believe that but anyways man you have another breakthrough star ethan page dude he won the nxt championship in a great finish too where trick was selling it he was like clawing to get there and the look on his face it was like mufasa falling from the cliff you know what i mean like tricks crawling and oh my god and his belt gets taken from him and he's like and he's just shocked and then he's turning up drew style every he's like this is Da 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 da, and it, and yeah. like his, he did the scissor knee on Ethan Page. I could sit here and blow every spot to death. Um, but it was just a tremendous four way. Like usually four ways are a little messy. God, this was really good. And you had Spears and Page in there, the two <sighs> veterans, the two heels. So they're leading the match. Oh and yeah, they just got the best out of Trick and the best out of Javon. And this is just such a good match. And then Ethan wins the belt, which I think is just the right call, man. He's like a fringe, yeah. like, yeah, I'll sign this deal, but you have to do this for me. And then he weasels his way in, and then he's he wins the belt, and now Trick's got to chase it again. But Javon wants it, and they're friends, and there was a little bit of turn. So we got, I don't know, lots of, lots of good stuff coming in the future of NXT. And this, if people weren't awake to NXT, this is a great show and starting point to, like, put this show on like awful said at the top you'll learn about everything you'll care about everything you'll understand every character and from heat wave on start watching nxt and i think you guys will absolutely be hooked like i am i just love it uh your thoughts on this match and all ego ethan page man so much to say about this match i mean so many stories being brought to the table um the best thing, the the best finish I might have seen all year as far as uh, any wrestling match. I mean, that was just so concise, so to the point. And I think I mentioned this before a few weeks back. AEW, when they do their wrestling and their flippy flops, they it's almost like a formulaic type of thing where it goes flip, 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 boom, or try to get their attack. With WWE, it's always flip. Boom! They go right for the attack in every one of the, in every one of these like what you would call a flippy type of match, but it's so much more. It's so much sharper. It's so much quicker. It's more impactful. This match had more of the same. Best finish of the night. Um, everybody was made in this match. Even yeah. Sean Spears was made in this match. Like he 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 was like the tone of the match. Like we're gonna slow it down when we need to. Ethan Page, uh, he was the first time the first time I saw him wrestle in ever. So <laughs> he was all right. And Javon Evans, I mean, my goodness, I can't like he was. He he's one of those guys where it's just like, what the hell is this twig doing in the in the middle of a ring? Oh, oh, that's why he's in the middle of the ring. He's good. <laughs> so yeah, match of the I wouldn't say match of the year, but finish of the year easily. You liked it that much, huh? That's absolutely. Oh phenomenal. my goodness, it was great. If AEW had the same type of match with four guys that I didn't really know, I most likely would give it the same rating because, again, everybody wanted to win the match, not show off. Even even there was a little spot. I hate the yay boo spots, the the the, uh, the back and forth fist spots, but they work in this context because you know it just works. They're not going for like the yay boo spots. They're really trying to knock each other's head off. And so yeah. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. I, I I'm not a fan of Ethan Page yet, but I see what he brings to the table and I'm shocked that Tony Khan gave that up. Incredible. 
I absolutely loved it. And then, um, so yeah, I gave it, this guy gave it an A plus. I love this show. Me, I'd grade it like an A overall, I guess. Um, 